I got a box. So you might be wondering what I got, or it might be completely obvious because it's literally in the title, but that bad boy right there is an absolute beast. So this right here is the ThinkPad P15 mobile workstation. And the people at Lenovo and Nvidia were kind enough to send this to me. So I'm very grateful for them. But this thing is heavy duty and it is called a mobile workstation for a reason. What's packaged in here is capable of replacing a traditional PC. So you've got a lot of power, a lot of performance, you know, baked into a portable machine. So this machine has a wide range of configuration options. i5 processor, i7, i9, up to the Intel Xeon processor. Same thing with RAM. I think it starts with 16 gigabytes by default, but you can work your way up to 128 gigabytes. The one that I was fortunate enough to get is fully loaded. It's 128 gigabytes of RAM, 4K screen, OLED display, really nice. And also comes with a NVIDIA RTX 5000 GPU. So that's something I'm really excited about. I think, you know, the, the big reason for getting a machine like this for me is being able to do data science work remotely and kind of all on my machine, as well as just video editing and photo editing. That stuff takes up a lot. And for me, it's been really, really challenging or just not, you know, not challenging, but it's been tough because I have a PC in my basement and it just, I'm spending every waking hour there. So I'm really excited to have something that is a little bit more flexible, a little bit more mobile that can do that same type of stuff that the PC can. Anyway, let's open this bad boy up. So first impressions is that this thing is, is big. You know, I expected it to be big. I've used a lot of Lenovo's in the past. My current work laptop is a Lenovo T450S running uh, Ubuntu. So compared to the, to the T450S, this thing is probably like double the weight. But once again, this is what I expected for a machine that has the, the power, has that Nvidia RTX 5000, has the 128 gigabytes of RAM in it. Uh, we also have here the, the charger and this thing is also <laughs> kind of a brick. It has kind of a, a rapid charge so it should power this thing pretty quickly and uh, that, that's exciting. I don't know enough about chargers to tell you too 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 much but I just know that it's designed to give you a lot of juice in a quick manner, get you most of the way there as quick as possible. Some crazy battery technology I guess so excited to use this bad boy. So one thing worth showing is all the different ports you have on this. So you got your HDMI, uh, your traditional USB. Um, on the back, you got some USB-C ports. Uh, you have the charging port, you have an ethernet. Uh, and then over here on this side, one thing that I'm really excited about is uh, SD card reader. So I can plug in, you know, my memory card right from the camera into the machine. And you got another USB, traditional USB port right there. So excited about all the port options you have here. Another cool thing to show off real quick is, I don't know if you've ever used a Lenovo laptop before. Ah, I'm really struggling to show this off, but they have the, the tried and true classic Lenovo keyboard, which I've really enjoyed. Uh, I kind of like how the, the keys jut out a bit. It, it gives a really nice feel. And for context, as I kind of mentioned, I've had uh, Lenovo T450S's before, so whip out one of those real quick. Um, you can see that this is probably like five or six years old at this point, but we also have that same type of keyboard and I've really liked this keyboard. Guess I will try giving this bad boy a good old power on. Look at that, the keys kind of light up. I think it's, so one thing worth mentioning as this is kind of booting up is that one of the advantages of this like Lenovo P15 mobile workstation is that they can be kind of configured to be a data science workstation out of the box. So, uh, you know, they can come with not just Windows, but you could set it up with a Linux operating system, which can be really, really useful because in my daily work, uh, I'm using Linux. 
more so over Windows. It just it's easier to customize, easier to get the programming set up that I like, but you also could run Windows just fine, but out of the box you can be it can come with installed with Ubuntu. So I guess now that I kind of just showed off the computer really quick, what's next? And I think the biggest thing is that I'm really excited. I'm gonna make a lot of videos with this machine. Some things that I really wanna highlight with this machine is we're gonna probably walk through like a deep learning project and just really show off that, you know, everything that can be done, can be done right here on, on the machine. I was also thinking about doing some sort of computer vision project where we generate some like really cool artwork, maybe use some intensive tasks, but show that this machine can do it right here and there. Uh, other ideas I had were like just comparing a, a machine like this, which is a mobile workstation to, you know, why would you use this over a PC? Why would you use this over, um, you know, a, a machine in the cloud? What are the pros and cons? So I think diving into that could be really interesting too, but definitely would be open to any suggestions that you all have. So let me know in the comments. Yeah, this was just a quick video. I wanted to kind of just quickly unbox it, have a little fun with it, show it off real quick. Yeah, really excited to use this machine. Build quality feels really solid. Keys feel good. Everything, you know, pretty excited about it. All right, until next time, everyone, peace out.